boys and girls. Well, as you know, we've been learning about transportation. And it didn't just happen overnight. Transportation has been around for as long as humans have been walking. Yeah, walking was our first mode of transportation. And our feet helped to get us from here to there and there to here. Our feet helped us get everywhere. And then came one of the best inventions ever. Do you think you might know what it is? The wheel and axle. The wheel and axle was invented and the next thing you know, forms of transportation took off and changed the way that people got from here to there and there to here. Well, this book is called The First Cars and it's gonna show us some of the first cars that were invented. Humans really did try to solve as many problems as they could as they came up. So this car definitely looks different from the cars that we would see on the road today. The book is by Roberta Baxter. Let's find out what we are going to learn in this book. The first cars. Table of contents. Thank goodness, because I thought I wasn't going to learn anything today. But I'm going to get another wrinkle to add to the ones I already have. Car history. Did you ride in a car today? Today's cars look much different from early ones. Let's find out about the first cars. So now we're looking at a picture of what vehicles look like today. Let's go take a look at how they used to look. Some of the earliest cars look like train engines. They ran on steam. They couldn't go very far or go up hills. Man, so if you lived somewhere where there were hills, wasn't much good. It looks like a lot of work to just go from here to there and there to here. Hmm, I really think maybe a horse and buggy would be faster than this big old thing. You have to create steam. So in order to create steam, I'm going to need to use coal to heat up water, to create the steam, to create the pressure to drive my car. That's a lot of work. In the 1800s, people began making vehicles powered by electricity. Wow, they didn't even know they were being environmentally friendly when they invented the electric car. I sure wish they would have kept it that way. Thomas Parker made the first four-wheeled electric car in 1884. Wow, it looks just like a cart that you would stick behind a horse. I bet you they didn't know that taking care of the environment, we're trying to reinvent and keep making electric cars now. If we'd have just stuck with this one, we wouldn't have the oil and petrol problems that we have now. Gasoline cars. Carl Benz put a gasoline engine on a three-wheeled carriage in 1885. Then in 1886, uh, Gottlieb Daimler added one to a four-wheeled carriage. So first we had a three-wheeled carriage, and then we had a four-wheeled carriage. Pretty cool. But if it was raining and storming or muddy, I don't think that car would get very far. Car racing. Six cars were in the first car race. Frank Druye won in a car he built himself. It took almost 10 hours to drive 54 miles in a snowstorm. 
wow, that's a really long time for 54 miles. We could do that in an hour now, easily in our cars. Cars for everyone. Early cars were expensive. They were made one at a time. Ransom Olds made thousands of cars in a factory. Olds was able to sell his cars for less money. Roy Chapman drove an Oldsmobile from Detroit to New York City in 1902. Wow, so he drove a really long distance to show that you could. Pretty cool. But still, they have these big old skinny wheels. Henry Ford made the Model T in 1908. Ford's company first used the assembly line to make cars. Ford sold 15 million Model Ts. So an assembly line is where each person has a specific job and the car goes past them. They attach the part that they are making and then it moves to the next person who adds their part. And by the end of the assembly line, you have a completely made car. Pretty cool. The first Indy 500. A car called the Marmon Wasp won the first Indianapolis 500 race. Driver Ray Haron drove at speeds of 75 miles per hour. Wow, 75 miles per hour is what we are allowed to drive on some freeways. Now think about race cars today and they travel at upwards of 180 to 200 miles per hour. It's pretty quick. Muscle cars are fast and powerful. In 1949, Oldsmobile began selling the Rocket 88. A big engine and lightweight body made it the earliest muscle car. Wow. Still very big, but now we've seen we got those fatter tires to increase the surface area, which will help us get over muddy, dirty roads and ruts. Oh, and here's our glossary and our read more and our internet sites. So we can tell that cars over time have definitely changed. So scroll on down and find out what is your assignment today? with the passage of time and cars.